Hey everyone, this video is a companion to my blog post of the same name, The Problem with YouTube That Can Be Fixed. And basically, it started because a YouTube partner was explaining to another YouTube partner that the way to overcome that person's revenue drop, dramatic revenue drop, was just to make better videos. That is not the solution. And the truth is that YouTube itself has changed such that YouTube partners are asked to spend money to promote their videos so that they're seen, and yet, at the same time, they're making less money. And that's because YouTube has allowed a lot of partners in, but there's nothing that can be done about that. The solution is to return to the YouTube design and operation of three years ago. But something else, too. YouTube has formed what I call a shadow government, where now you have videos that are under review and sometimes they never get monetized and you don't know why. And this under review process is not stated in the content licensing terms of service. And all of a sudden YouTube has started this without any prior well advanced note, of, note, note to YouTube partners. This has to stop because what's happening is it's violating the trust of the YouTube partner. What's happening to YouTube now is what I said was going to happen in 2010 at a YouTube partner meeting at headquarters in San Bruno, I said that YouTube, if it's going to add so many partners, it was, I think it was 40,000 now, it's 2 million today, you have to calculate how much staff you need to properly service all those partners. My guess, my hypothesis, is that YouTube is overwhelmed. And what's happening now is that there are people, project managers, who are making policies and decisions and participating in the operation of YouTube who, by their own admission, have never made a video. That's not right. It means they don't have a feel for the idiosyncrasy of the platform that we use every single day and we know better than they do. So, you, but the biggest problem is that YouTube is trying to force the creation of longer form videos at the expense of the viral video. No. The viral video is what made YouTube. The viral video must continue. If a person clicks away from a video, don't penalize them, the maker of the video for that. So what? You can't always predict what the market, the people are going to do. Let me put it this way as an economic planner. I thought I'd never say this, but I'll say it. YouTube had a perfect free market free three and a half years ago. It should maintain it. It should not force people to go out and try to get VC money, nothing wrong with that, to build and promote their videos because it sends a message to those who don't even know what a venture capitalist is that they can never reach the lofty heights of saying awesomeness TV. That's not right. We have to begin to go back to the true system of democratized video viewing that we had three and a half years ago. Thank you.